On April 18, 2016, the Philadelphia Flyers were playing the Washington Capitals in the 2016 Stanley Cup playoffs. Before Game 3, the Flyers treated fans with interactive LED wristbands to be activated during the pregame show that honored Ed Snyder, Snyder was the team founder, owner, and chairman. In 1964, Snyder became vice president of the Philadelphia Eagles. A few years later he founded the Flyers as part of the NHL's six-team expansion. It would only take the Flyers seven years to win the Stanley Cup, and they were the first out of the six new teams to win it. Snyder in 1976 pioneered PRISM, the first 24-hour regional cable network in the nation to combine sports and movies. During the mid-90s, he built the $210 million Corstate Center, now known as the Wells Fargo Center, using only $25 million in public funds. He created the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation in 2005, it provides underserved children the opportunity to learn to play the game. Snyder Hockey now funds and administers programming for more than 3,000 boys and girls at nine inner-city sites. Snyder managed to receive quite a bit of trophies, with some of them being the highest honor anyone in hockey can receive. 1980. Recipient of the Lester Patrick Award for Outstanding Service to Hockey in the United States. 1985. Member of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame. 1988. Inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. 1988. Inducted into the Flyers Hall of Fame. 2005. Inducted into the Philadelphia Sports Hall of Fame. 2011. Inducted into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. Sadly, Snyder passed away on April 11, 2016, after a two-year battle with cancer. Seven days later the Flyers wanted to pay tribute to Snyder with a video that was to be played during the pregame. Wristbands lit up Wells Fargo Center before the lights went dark, Snyder's initials appeared on the ice, and a video tribute was shown on the scoreboard. Emotions were running high, and it only took the Flyers 57 seconds into the game to score. That would be the last good thing to happen during the game for the Flyers. After four unanswered goals by the Capitals and a dirty hit by Flyers forward Pierre Belmar on Capitals defenseman Dmitry Orlov in the third period would send the Flyers fans over the edge. Disgruntled Flyers fans started to throw the bracelets onto the ice causing the game to be delayed while the ice crew was sent to clear the bracelets. At one point Flyers forward Wayne Simmons and Capitals forward Alex Ovechkin pleaded for the fans to stop. Flyers public address announcer Lou Nolan warned fans that the Flyers would receive a penalty if they kept littering the ice with bracelets and other garbage. After Ovechkin scored the fifth goal of the game, fans continued throwing the bracelets and the Flyers were given a bench minor for a delay of game. Nolan's response was way to go and the fans cheered as if they were proud of the penalty. What was supposed to be a touching gesture turned into embarrassment caused by fans. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and please leave any suggestions or comments.